in today's video, we're going to check out the top 5 best Android TV boxes in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about these Android TV boxes, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button, and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. In my opinion, Amazon should have released the Fire TV Stick 4K years ago. This small dongle offers 4K HDR streaming at a very affordable price, and it even outperforms its big brother, the Fire TV Cube. It has a nice convenient remote control in the package that's upgraded, and you also get the Alexa voice commands as in every Amazon Smart Home product. However, this device is tailored for Amazon Prime users, so it'll require you to have a Prime subscription. But I'd recommend you get one, because the benefits are endless. Let's take a closer look at this TV box. Build and design-wise, as its name implies, the Fire TV Stick 4K has a stick shape. Well, not exactly the USB stick drives, you could imagine, because it's slightly larger at 10 centimeters long, and even when compared to the traditional TV boxes, it's still compact. However, I found it dangling from the back of the TV, so it's not invisible if you're looking for an incognito system, then you'd have to improvise. In the box, you'll find an HDMI extender to help you with connecting, and you'll have to connect the stick to a power source because it needs its power, unlike other sticks. The first time installation and setup was pretty easy and quick once you connect the Fire TV Stick 4K to the TV and power source. After that, the stick will prompt you to connect to the Wi-Fi network, and then it'll automatically install any software updates and will connect to your Prime account. I was very pleased that it connected with every Alexa device in the room automatically. Once you're done, if you want to, you can explore some advanced options to tailor the viewing experience to your liking. I was particularly impressed by the image of the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K, as it was particularly bright and detailed due to its 4K quality. The HDR was excellent and worked to perfection, the colours were balanced and natural, and the sound was decent as well. The Fire TV Stick 4K provides amazing value for its price, and is a must-have. At number 4, it's the Tanex TX6 TV. The Tanex TX6 TV may be the cheapest option on our list, but it is a fan favourite so far, and rightly so because it has adopted the all-winner H6 technology with 6K ultra-clear display and stable dual antenna transmission. The picture is always crystal clear and without any interruptions. It has high performance specs, large capacity and even Bluetooth 5.0. Despite being one of the cheapest in the market, it's still one of the best, and it's worth a try. The Tanex TX6 TV is very compact and tiny in dimensions, measuring just 10.5 by 10.5 by 2.5 centimeters, and its outer shell is built of ABS plastic that's impact resistant and weighs just 180 grams. It has an all-black design except for the company logo on top and a small display on the front that indicates functions that are occurring at that time. You'll find an external Wi-Fi antenna that'll be very useful if you need to place the box farther from your router. However, for the best connection, I recommend connecting it directly to your router via the Ethernet port. Besides that, there's a USB 3.0 port, a USB 2.0 port, an HD output, power input and SPDIF port. The Tanex TX6 TV shines in the hardware department as it's equipped with a quad-core SoC with ARM Cortex-A53 processor that goes hand-in-hand -hand with the ARM Mali T720 graphics unit that makes the device able to stream video at 6K with 30 frames per second and at 4K resolution with 60 frames per second. And this is all due to the all-winner Phoenix 3.0 video accelerator. The Tanex TX6 TV supports HDR10 and HLD DHR Smart Color 3.0 display as well, and these technologies in turn deliver a clearer picture and sound. Apart from the processing units, this TV box also has 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage that can be expanded up to 128GB. The device runs on Android 9.0 Pi and is compatible with 5G Wi-Fi. Taking everything into consideration, the Tanex TX6 TV, despite being the cheapest option on our list, is also one of the most capable of the bunch. At number 3, it's the Skystream 2. Skystream 2 is one of the most popular Android TV boxes in the market, and for a good reason. Skystream 2 is the updated and upgraded version of the already excellent legacy Skystream streaming device, and it has doubled its performance numbers 
and is an elite Android TV box. It provides a complete package with an easy-to-use system that's easily the most convenient of the bunch, fast installation and amazing value for its price. The Skystream 2 aims to be your family's sole entertainment provider by delivering the best quality audio and visuals, and I think that this device is excellent for watching movies, music, TV shows, sports and much more in 4K or Full HD 1080p. The image was amazingly sharp and it's an absolute joy, and in addition to all of this, it's also capable of HDR to offer brighter colours, more natural shades and vivid image with gorgeous shades and amazing quality, one of the best viewing experiences in the market. For the fans of streaming services such as Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Kodi and many more, there are plenty of options you can choose from, as you have the entire Google Play ecosystem at your service, plus the Skystream Media Center, all without commercial rates or any limitation. The Skystream 2 may have a high upfront cost, but after you pay that it doesn't require any kind of subscription, you get what you pay for, complete with the updates and support. In the package of the Skystream 2, you'll find the TV box itself, power cord, HDMI cable and the remote control. Other than those, you'll find the quick start guide and a user manual that explains everything to its last detail. But even without those, you just plug in the device to the power source and the TV, connect to the Wi-Fi and you're ready to go. Simple as that. The user interface of the Skystream 2 is extremely simple and foolproof. It doesn't get better than this. An impressive Android TV box that'll prove it's worth over the years. It has an excellent design. At number two, it's the B-Link GT King. Simply explained, the B-Link GT King runs like an Android smartphone or a tablet on a stock Android 9.0 Pi, rather than some Android TV adaptation. This provides a great platform for people that don't prefer using popular streaming services like Netflix, Hulu or Amazon Prime. It can run them pretty well, but if you mostly watch from streaming services, you're better off with another Android TV box. The advantage of the B-Link GT King comes at its value per dollar because you don't have to pay any subscription fee or license requirements from the manufacturers and you have the freedom to use it as a small computer thanks to its power and performance specs. The B-Link GT King has the classic TV box design measuring 108 by 108 by 16 millimeters and weighs just 190 grams. The side edges are smoothed out to give a nice aesthetic impression and it has a skull on top with shining green eyes when it's turned on. For connectivity, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port to 4K at 75 frames per second connector, a USB 2.0 port, micro SD port, SPDIF, power connector, AV jack and a hole with a reset button inside. All in all, it's decently built all round and inside I found the chips and a cooling system made of an aluminium heatsink that was very smart to be implemented into this small device. The remote control for the B-Link GT King was a fly mouse control with an integrated microphone. Fairly simple, but it got the job done. But if you want, you can upgrade to another aftermarket remote. After installing the Google Assistant, it worked excellently with voice controls and I was generally pleased with controls and performance. The interface of the B-Link GT King is fully customizable, exactly like an Android smartphone, so you can set it up to suit your needs and tailor the shortcuts to have your most used apps up front. With amazing performance specs and high-powered processor, the B-Link GT King is even capable of running games, the most powerful and customizable Android TV box on the market for those that want to be limitless. And at number one, it's the Nvidia Shield TV. Spending money on an Android TV box is worthless for most of the people as they argue that most of the streaming service apps are already installed on most of their TVs. However, with the introduction of the Nvidia Shield TV, things have changed because this machine provides the best hardware, amazing video apps, 4K streaming and access to Nvidia GeForce Now library for games. And with the latest update, this box is even more refined and customizable, simply the best in the market without any competition. Design-wise, the new NVIDIA Shield TV is the same as its predecessor, which is not a bad thing per se, because it was already excellent. It has the same NVIDIA Tegra X1 CPU and the same power configuration with the same ports that consist of two USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port and an HDMI 2.0 port. The X1 chipset is the same system seen in various smaller systems like the Nintendo Switch. This is based on an older chipset architecture of NVIDIA, but can offer 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. The NVIDIA Shield TV ships with remote control and the games controller, and both of them received updates throughout. 
the controller looks more like the Xbox One controller with slight touches and design tweaks to give it an NVIDIA look. It is angular though, which might prove to be uncomfortable for some users, but I think it's really good actually, as it has that haptic feedback which is excellently implemented and the addition of an IR transmitter. The NVIDIA Shield TV is capable of streaming from the popular streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime and many more at 4K resolution at 60fps, but what sets it apart is the selection of games that you can play. It also connects with the Google Assistant and even with Alexa if you have the Echo Dot smart speaker and comprehends the commands exceptionally well. The best Android TV box on the market that provides tremendous value for its price. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.